on this very platform that we're standing and sitting in right uh -huh. now, um, Kanye West talked about slavery. Um, that word has come up again in a new lawsuit filed by uh, some of his former employees. Right, former employees who say that they were referred to by the phrase, new slaves. And they filed this lawsuit against Kanye and his now former chief of staff, Milo Yiannopoulos. Uh, but there is also a mention of Kanye's wife, uh, an allegation that Bianca was involved in one particular project that Kanye talked about recently, and that's the launching of an adult film studio. Uh, but this lawsuit lays out some allegations about the workplace, which now there have been other lawsuits um, from former employees. This one, one is uh, over a lot of money, and two is very detailed. Uh, yeah. about what was and, going on, and, and about what they claim was going and on. And salacious. And I just want to say, Jason, before you just jump in, I just want to say, again, this is a lawsuit, and that doesn't mean it's automatically true. So I think we have to temper everything and say these are allegations. Yeah, and those allegations are that uh, Kanye and Milo and their company, the Yeezy Company, uh, sought some developers. They sort of did an open casting call for who could develop the best app. Eventually, they decided on one group of people that were, they were all remote, uh, but they were all people of color, some of them in the United States, and some of them in Nigeria. According to the plaintiffs, uh, it re they really created a toxic work environment uh, by using a lot of racially charged language. And then to the point that Charles was making a second ago, they also uh, alleged that Bianca had sent out in the course of creating this adult app some pornographic videos and that the, there were children that were part of these app development groups and these children were not shielded from seeing these pornographic videos.